Yes, guys, it's my friend Dragon Pool. Some more of the Lunar Nerd Show. This episode's called Dark Sun Pays a Visit in VR Chat. I'm very excited. Because uh, Dark Sun looks really good in Am and Ninja's art style. <laughs> Is that supposed to be, um, what's it called? It? It's, um,. It's not a tuxedo, is it? I think it's more like a jumpsuit than anything. Like a red and black jumpsuit. Also, as of recording this, I just uploaded like the same time that Lunar Nerd Show posted. <laughs> it's on my compilation I made. Um, yeah. I think that we're in sync. <laughs> and. I don't mean NSYNC from Trolls or the band, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so let's get into this. So, okay. okay. So, mm -hmm. we break here. Okay. We're gonna stay vigilant, okay? Okay. You know, because of the whole kidnapping situation that happened. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, by the way, tomorrow's um, July 16th. It's crazy how fast time goes. Exactly. I mean, we have protocols in place. I we keep saying like you know we have the buddy system. We yeah. always keep breaking the buddy system. So I'm thinking we're just not built for the buddy system. No. no. <laughs> yeah. Our best buddy system is you live with Monty, I live with Sun and Moon. Yeah. Yeah, we don't live together anymore, so yeah, that's kind of another problem. So and then you know my buddy Monty in that case. You know, if we have the buddy system, you know, Monty's busy doing their own thing sometimes, so we can't, they're not, oh, we're not monitoring each other constantly, so. I mean, hey, you have the bunny. I do, but <laughs> oh, I I g you guys can't talk. I mean, if you got a second bunny, or, you have to call it the bunny system. Bun Durr, so. Drill? If something, if something were to happen to me, and I was in danger, which, to be fair, it doesn't seem like that's the case much. It's literally just you who's in danger. Well. You know, little damsel in distress over there. It's you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Where's my Prince Charming? <laughs> what? Isn't it? I was gonna make a I joke. Mean, I don't wanna. Isn't it Gemini? Yeah. I yep. say Gemini, but that's too easy. You know. Yeah. But it is true. Yeah, that is very true. Very, very true. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, so you can't talk to my buddy, so like, that's not a good buddy system. And also, I don't want to stress out my buddy. You know? uh, bunny system? <laughs> uh, bunny system, that's Wait. funny. Hey guys! <laughs> Did me and Lunars have the same joke? Man, I swear, we're we're so in sync. I swear. <laughs> hey, Hi. Uh, everything all right? Uh, uh, kind yeah. of saw stuff happened. Yeah, we good. Sure, I mean, like, uh, was a gorilla thing. Yeah, I, I called you about it. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to come by and see if you guys are all right. Again, yeah, we're good. Like, no, yeah. it's okay. No, it's not really the deal. I said I didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, I was worried about you, honestly, um, because I know a lot of stressful stuff's been going on, and, you know, I wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm pretty sure this kind of tops most of the stressful stuff I had. Yeah. The real thing, how many are to kind of rip arms off, or? Yeah, for those who don't know what happened last episode, Luna was almost kidnapped again by a fake version of Solar, uh, well, Goliath, disguised as Solar. It was so sad and manipulative. It's like, I knew that that wasn't solar. I don't know. I guess I'm just good at, like, um, being, like, suspicious of somebody. Like, sometimes I can get, like, bad, bad vibes from somebody, you know? There's nothing wrong with that, you know? Because you're just being cautious, you know? Whatever. Um. Uh I don't think you wanted to rip arms off. I think you just wanted to, you know, take me. Yeah, that was kind yeah, of... Yeah, it's not much better. Well, I know, I know. That's, 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 that's,
It's a Goliath, right? It doesn't make any sense, but why a gorilla? I, I don't know. The creator's kind of crazy. I think we're all yeah. the same thing with that, I right? I think I agree with that. Yes, it's just... Oh, he's far I'm from still crazy. trying to figure out yeah. the logistics Psychopath. of making a gorilla. That's a good point. I know. Uh, big, strong, intimidating... Yeah. Don't spook yeah. before it tries to grab you. Yeah. Uh, I have a... I, I know it's not my fault, but I'm sorry about the... Solar thing. I don't know. I, gotta, I don't know anything. Honestly, I think that's kind of on us. We should have, like, called somebody. Yeah, we probably should have called, you know, you. And uh, honestly, I've yeah. also heard it would take, like, a, like a while to make solar yeah. again. So but it was very it? optimistic. Yeah. That's sort of my understanding, I think. I, I don't I don't really have a time table here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He didn't take anything, did he? Or just like did he I mean, did no, he, know he only wanted me? Yeah, and then um just, you know, apparently he gets better like after you fight them, that he just adapts yeah. so he's like perfectly capable of taking you at some point, so That doesn't just, seem plausible. Yeah. Well, I guess you can say that, like, Sun got smarter after, like, each event, I guess you can say, or a little bit more cautious after everything he's been through. Because remember, like, at the, like, beginning of the show, he was, like, very, like, anxious and kind of stupid in a way. Not, like, the most. I think he was a little bit smarter than Fun Time Freddy, but he's matured a lot since then, you know? Um, I know lots of people do miss the old Sunny, but you have to realize, so like, Sun, I think Sun is like one of the most, um, relatable characters, I think. You know, going through like lots of like, abuse, like either like emotional or physical, you know, abuse. You know, losing somebody, like that was like very important to him, you know. But, yeah. Teased him a little bit, and then he poofed. What the doomsday are we talking about here? <laughs> oh, the doomsday. I zapped him a little bit, and then he went poof. Yeah. Poof. 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 When Earth getting crazy, he went poof. I mean, it just sounds like doomsday from Superman. I, I'm, 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 it does just sound like doomsday from Superman. Do you know what doomsday is? I don't. You keep, you keep mentioning I've it. I've heard of I it. I don't know what it is. like this, this caricature okay. that's, like, really strong and adapts to everything, basically. Okay. You have to... Doomsday is called the way he is because he's supposed to be a adaptive counter to Superman. Mm. Okay. Or really anything, actually. Yeah. Uh, his entire thing is that he gets into a fight, gets something thrown at him, and then he adapts to that thing so he is not as affected by it. Or at yeah. all. Yeah. Okay. By the way, I only called you first because I, I don't, I mean, I figured you don't want to be affected the dark bus stuff, so I want you yeah. to first, I tell first. Even well, yeah, yeah, I, know get, what I, I, I appreciate it. I told Moon a little bit about it when I, uh, what, when you, when you told Also, me. I just realized this, but Sun's arms are, like, way, way longer than his torso. You know, I think his torso is, like, the same size as his fist. Like, he can just grab his, like, whole entire torso, like, with his, like, fist. <laughs> How did I just notice that? I don't know. I just noticed that. See? Uh, not much I could, really. But I didn't really understand the situation fully. So I'm right. sorry, I'm still hard to the gorilla thing. Yeah, it's fair. I mean, I don't have to tell you about that. So is there anything, like... We should do about it like oh uh, yeah the, i know the gorilla I think is like you should get stronger security protocols <laughs> but then again actually i have some ideas on how to get rid of the crater well well or get rid of goliath if you know what i'm saying um either like put goliath in acid Maybe, like the strongest acid, I forget what it's called. Um, like have a melt, like that. Um, or place a bomb in it, like that super small but can have like a huge explosion. 
and it can like kill off the creator. <laughs> I know Sun Stark, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Got the hook. The thing, oh. dangerous, bad. What do we do about it? Cause I don't want it to take Lunar, obviously. Well, honestly, I'm just kind of, I'm hoping that when this Taurus fellow appears, maybe we can charm them. Uh, what charm? Charm them? I didn't tell her like that yet about that. Yeah, well, that charm. I feel like we can make a good impression on Taurus, and then we can see yeah. if we can get some assistance on it. Maybe you can succeed in doing that. Yeah, well, true. I think you don't have to make a good impression. <laughs> yeah, I think you're No, I think it's not yeah, let's be honest. I don't think Lunar is the greatest at doing good impression dolls. That's not that's not supposed to be an insult. But. His impression to me is already oh, little thing. I'm going to kill it. Well, I can try and make a good impression. I, I like making friends. I hope I can make them into a friend. That sounds uh, weird. I don't know. It okay, kind of like a nebula. Help, but I, you know. Maybe cast her I don't know anything about Taurus either. It's just uh Horus, do you know anything about him, or is it just like, is? Nope, just big. Uh, just big. Let I me, mean, uh, Pollux briefly mentioned to me when we were hanging out. Big guy, blows up planets, yeah, uh, angry. Oh, planet destroyer. Oh, that's Pollux right. told yeah. me that briefly that Taurus is a planet destroyer. Um, him and Leo. He, he's not here to destroy planets, he's here to talk to you. I don't, he's here to, frankly, I don't, he's like, here to get a reason. To kill me. Frankly, I just don't like the idea yeah. of a planet destroyer on this planet. You could have just stopped it. I don't like the idea of a planet destroyer. You know what? That that's fair. I don't like you the idea of a planet destroyer. You could have just stopped that. I don't like the idea of a planet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's very funny. Why are we on then? New Earth. I hate the Earth. Yeah, <laughs> I hate the planet. <laughs> It's all like saying, like, son, you hate the sun, but you are the sun. <laughs> I hate the moon. I hate the sun. <laughs> I hate the sun more. Because, uh, the sun just straight blinds you. Especially if you're driving or just in a car or whatever. Or just looking outside. The sun, like, literally blinds you for, like, a it's annoying and I hate it. You know? Even if you wear even if you wear sunglasses, it's not gonna help. We should really think about like what we can do against the life of the creator in general right now. Yeah. Um I was thinking we could well, do very very acid. Why the buddy system's not a thing. Why haven't they like thought of like burning him in acid? Like both of them. You know? It's not that hard. I mean, it might be hard to find some acid, or actually, you know what? How about you throw the current in a volcano? Wait. Yeah. With an active crater. Yeah, okay, I'm done. <laughs> we can't get the plant destroyer to fully agree with us, or maybe he realizes the danger of this place. He's like, boom, anyways. The whole planet. Yeah. That would suck. I don't yeah. think he would do that. Right! I, from what I, I've mean, been told, I don't. from Gemini. They need permission before they can just do that. Ah. Uh, like, what, unanimous decision to blow up a planet? They need I guess what, so much of just posted. <laughs> talk to the other okay. astrals at their council okay. thing and then get permission. Well, I guess, it, I guess the question is, will they take okay, the path of least resistance or just, uh, I guess. Try to be a good person. I don't know yet. I don't know how they act. I've just been told they're gonna, I've, I've just been told they're gonna make every reason for me to try and fight them, and if I do attempt to fight them, I'll die. I offer we just be a little careful here, we bring it back, and just maybe make a tiny little claim to deal with that thing. Uh-oh. Oh, you sounded so funny there. <laughs> I was trying to be a little funny. There. I liked Aww. the voice. It was good. It was good. What the? <laughs> you indeed sounded yeah, that was... What the little... I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Die. I offer we just be a little careful here. We bring it back and just maybe make a tiny little claim to deal with that thing. Oh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh. oh, you sounded so funny there. Sunday is a good fall, though. I liked the voice. It was good. It was good. 
indeed sounded like a quirked up white boy. You did indeed sound like a quirked up white boy. I quirked up white boy. A quirked up white boy. Inside of this room, uh, bar the door shut, and yeah, that's it. You live here forever now. What if you just put him like a pet or something? It's just, it's just, it's just, you guys beat him, he just goes away. Is that just spontaneously teleported when I zapped it? I think a pit is not a good idea. I well, I got an idea. Just like, what if we trap the thing instead of just killing it? What if we take the key bottom and push it somewhere else? Yeah. What? Sorry, I'm what if I hear that? I have to do that. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know. I feel like maybe what? we could, you know, this is an, another idea here. Hold on. Um, I'm pretty sure the creator has another way to turn it off. So if we break into the creator's place, find codes, perhaps, perhaps blueprints. Didn't the creator move? I don't know. Probably find where he lives. I, I think he did. I don't know. Uh, he could be anywhere. I mean, he has, uh, like, a lot of places he goes to, you know, so I'm sure we could find a place. Do you know? What is that? Which one is that? What was that? Uh, well, that's not my phone's phone, I don't know. Is it mine? Not mine. Whose phone is that? It's son's. Is it, uh, but is it mine? Hello? It's not mine. Uh, hey, uh, sorry for the wait, um... Oh! That's not son! That's not son! Oh, that's not Sun. Sun, the other U's here! What do you want with us? I'm trying to tell you how to keep him from dying. Why? Why? What do you mean, why? I mean, I didn't think you was the type who cared. I mean, I don't know you very well. But I didn't point. think that evil Sun was going to be right there. I thought he was just going to come from, like, the portal, portal or something. Like, I thought that was like the regular sun. You know how I said earlier that uh, I can like, I have like my suspicions or whatever. Yeah, this was not <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know. At least evil son, he's not the most evil of all of them. Like sure he killed his like, brother and like sucked up his intelligence but he doesn't really want to kill anybody really he's just i would say he's more eclipse level like older eclipse level you get what i'm saying he's still a little bit evil though but not not as evil as like evil lunar or evil earth or um moon in the dimension where uh, him and Summer are still together. Or, actually, I think... No, Evil Sun's, like, just as bad as, like, old kill code, I would say. Like, old kill code, like, you know. Don't really care too much. You see, I don't really care what happens personally to Lunar. It's what he has that matters. The star like powers? Oh, of course, if anybody gets a hand on that thing, no oh, god who knows what'll happen. Yeah. Have we not tried to find where the crater lives? shutting it down there? I'm telling you, your best solution to keeping that Goliath monkey thing away <laughs> is probably just to trap them instead. Okay. 
Noted. Yeah. You are very intelligent, so I'll take that and figure out a way to do that. Great. Have a good day, you two. Mm. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I really am did. bad. Yeah, we both fell for that. We were better at protecting Solar. And that's now the second time that somebody's been able to. In two days! Okay, well, okay, well, this time. Okay, at least this time, Evil Sun didn't try to capture Lunar. <laughs> Whereas, um, Goliath, or like the fake Solar, whatever, was trying to kidnap Lunar. So, yeah, I would say this one, this situation was a little bit better. At least Evil Sun was like. You know, like, trying to be funny, you know? He wasn't trying to be mean this time. Yeah, I wonder when we're gonna see Nexus's new body, you know? I mean, sure, I, like, made, like... I had, like, my thoughts of what he was gonna look like, you know? But still not, like, 100%, like... Uh, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not to guarantee that they're gonna, you know, see it, but, you know. I uh, okay, uh, hold on. I'm on the balcony thing right now. Uh, hello? Oh. I'm here. Uh, Sunny! Sunny, hello. Sunny. Hi. Hi. Hey, hey, okay, okay. Uh, where is he? Where is he? He left. What do you mean he just left? He just <laughs> walked out the door. He just left. Okay, tell me something only you would know about me. Just real quick. <laughs> easier to detect, to be honest. That one, I was... I, we were making jokes. Well, yeah, because... Correct me if I'm wrong, son, but isn't that version of you just... actually a you? That lost it? A little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Goliath. Oh, okay, so I'm assuming that's what son would act like if he lost his mind. Okay. That makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, when you first, like, heard, like, Evil Son, like, he just think, like, he, like, wants to destroy everybody, but no, not really. Yeah, Evil Son seems to be, seems to be the more tame of all of them. He's just the smarter version of Son, in a way. Yeah. <laughs> but I am glad that Evil Son isn't, like, as bad as some of the other evil versions of everyone, though. Everyone else. Sorry. <laughs> Um, like, Evil Sun tried to, or Evil Lunar tried to blow up Sun. Evil Earth, like, was basically killing a lot of people. Um, yeah. <laughs> Evil Sun, however, he's just, like I said, a small version of Sun. Quiet, trying to be solar. Yeah. I just feel bad. I feel like I should know who my brother is. We were having banter like we usually do. He looks exactly like me. And we were having banter like we usually do. So I just, I feel bad. I'm sorry I didn't tell it was you. I'm so sorry. No, no, Earth, it, they look they look exactly like me. It's fine. It's really. They did come up with an idea on how to get rid of Goliath or to at least make them not a threat. Right. Uh, catch oh, them no, instead of them catching me. I'm yeah. trapping them now. Yeah. That, and at least Evil Sun is at least helping them out, you know? That's another thing I like about uh, Evil Sun, I guess, in a way. Maybe Evil Sun, maybe one will become a member of the family. Ooh, that would be so cool. Nexus, however, <laughs> I'm not too sure. Maybe he might change after Solar comes back, but then again. I think he's a little bit too far gone now, I think. That works. Why would they, I mean, they want to help because of your star power, but if they really cared, you know, to keep it safe, 
logically speaking, it would just be helping us get rid of this thing. If they don't want to get involved, though, that's something else. I think it's... I think they're just lying. What, what are they getting here, or coming here and lying to us, having banter True. with me and Luna, having a moment? True. I thought we were having a, like a sibling bonding moment, and... Maybe they're the 20th person who thinks they can manipulate the two of us. We're clearly easier to be manipulated at this point because of that, but um... Yeah. I would think I'm better than that, but I'm here to You are. So. <sighs> yeah, the sword thing was very easy to detect. This one wasn't as easy. I mean, we knew that one of them was going to be Evil Son, but we didn't think that that one was going to be Evil Son. <laughs> but at least Evil Son was having a good time with them. I don't know the fact of that, to be honest. I don't either. Nope. Um. We didn't do something else you guys wanted. Yeah, uh, um. Sure. Man, I think it's pretty funny jokes. That's starting to be, like, in jokes. Oh, you know cool. what we can do? What? Fun. I mean, Jack and Dazzle got a PS5 that I technically paid for. That's in the theater and plugged in. We got a PS5, yeah. Huh? I think you technically paid for it. What if we got a PS5 here? Jack stole the PS5. I made Jack pay for it. I gave Jack the money. stole the PS5? Yeah. Dazzle wanted to play Bluey. You know, that's also on the Switch, right? Oh, I don't know, man. Huh? Do we all want to go play a game on the PS5? Sure, you know what? Let's go play I, I a game. Okay, we can play like, uh, th um... You know what? Let's go play Bluey. Bluey? I call... Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I call... Oh, I want to be... I want to be Chili. I like Chili. Ooh. I call Bingo! No, I want to be Bingo! You said Chili! Yes, I'll be bandits or lawyers or something. Of course. Okay, if you want to. I'm still I sorry, by the way. I'm you so sound sorry. so passionate about being bingo. First one there gets to be bingo! No, you're faster than me with your little legs! Your little tiny legs! My little rodent legs! What? I'll be chilly, it's fine. It's just bingo and bigger. <laughs> what? I guess that's true. Alright, well that's it for today's video, so hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to go to the thing, come with me and see some more of the Lunar Nerd Church business, and get the next video. Audio Superstars.